Well, right after we started the magazine, we got a letter from Roger who said, I really like what you're doing, but he gave us some real serious suggestions about what could be improved, what could be better, and so forth. And then, oh, after a number of years, I called him up one day and I said, Roger, people enjoy seeing your art, but they miss your writing. You're such a good writer. Why don't you start doing a column every other month for the magazine? And he said, sure, and he did it, and it was, uh, we didn't have any columns come in better written than it came from Roger Peterson. So he's been a friend for a long time. After we'd been publishing Birdwatcher's Digest for about five years, and this was sometime before he began, Roger began writing for us, uh, we made an appointment to go up to his home in Old Lyme, Connecticut to speak with him. And it became apparent, after we'd been there a little while, that his secretary, uh, Chuck Schultz, I think was his name, would come in periodically, uh, Dr. Peterson, and we realized that that was Roger's opportunity to say, oh, I'm so sorry, but I, I, have, I have other things to take care of. Well, he not only spent the entire morning with us, he said, now I'd like to take you to lunch. And as we were driving, as we were driving home from the lunch, and it was a delightful lunch at a place on the water, um, he said, oh, Elsa, Elsa, let me have your binoculars. I think I see a bluebird. And he took my binoculars. Well, it wasn't a bluebird, and he was disappointed about that. But I said, I'll never wash my binoculars again. And they were some of the cheapest binoculars, <laughs> were, I think. They were awful. Find. They were awful oh, binoculars. But he was were. so nice. We had such a great lunch, and uh, he was, oh. He was the most encouraging person in the entire field of, of bird watching. There was never a person who asked him for uh, help, for advice, uh, write a forward to my book. I don't believe he ever turned anyone down. He was so inclusive and the world of course is full of people who are exclusive and he never, he never let anyone go away without his help and advice. He was a wonderful gentleman. And our son Bill did a book about, what, a couple of years ago, about all the columns, with all the columns that Roger wrote in Birdwatcher's Digest over the years. And uh, uh, All Things Reconsidered. All Things Reconsidered. And I think it's become kind of a thing for people to collect and hold on to. So we're really pleased. And we're pleased to be at the Peterson Institute.